Great news, great news, you old, great news, you old pterodactyls. Uh, I don't, I don't send food back in a restaurant. I don't leave Yelp reviews. I uh, am intentionally uh, unannoying to the working person, but I had to send an email to the fine folks at JS, uh, JHS saying, oh, oh. It said that my pedal got dropped off by the United States Postal Service, but it's not in my house. What happened? And they didn't know. And I didn't know. And so I opened a claim with the USPS being like, but you said it was there. And it wasn't there. And I thought, like, I guess a porch bandit could have happened. But, uh... The rest of our porch was undisturbed, and our porch is a kaleidoscope of, like, kids' bullshit and other... It just would have been a weird thing to get picked off, because, like, if if I was a thief and I saw our porch, I'd be like, oh, all of that stuff just has boogers on it. Like, I don't want to steal any of that. Um, but, but this was on, like, the... I don't know, Jesus Christ, like, the 17th or something like that. And I was like, well, if it hasn't gotten dropped off by now, uh, even though it was marked delivered on the 17th, then, like, there's no way that a neighbor, that it got delivered to a neighbor by accident. But, look, guess what? Somebody way down the street, like, nine houses down the street, oh, was putting this back in, was putting this back on, uh, was putting this back in my mailbox. And it's here, and it's the... Big box of the lizard quine. And it's the uh it's the octave distortion brought to you by Electro Harmonics. And I have not heard it yet, but I'm gonna hear it now, and so can you. This is a PVT60. It used to have a metal neck, now it has like the normal neck that it always has. In it, and that is a Laney AOR 50 watt Pro 2 bleed. It's got several. It's the 50 watt. It's a it's a it's a Marshall 2204 with uh, boosts in the EQs, and that is a 4 by 12 cabinet with with Celestian G12. 65s i can't remember if they're m or h's and then then g12 h's and let me put you up here oh no oh god oh god we gotta make this quick because we're on uh limited phone time yeah this is where's the ding ding dang all right <laughs>
differences are from volume manipulation on the pickups and uh, volume of the pedal and still remains at 12. <laughs> is now back in the middle octave has been on zero this entire time we are up to middle 96.9 la ley remains through the amp right now neck pickup single coil
last minute, uh, sun has been all the way up, octave is still all the way up. Now it's all shadow, octave all the way up. That's fucking tight. Fucking, it's the, it's the fucking Lizzie Queen. It's the goddamn Lizzie Queen. This is where we ended. <clears throat> and, uh, the So that was the first time I played through it. That was the first time that I heard it outside of the little the little demos. And sometimes it's uh The folks who really, really like JHS, at least on the JHS-focused Facebook group that I'm a member of, which is JAS Pedals, sort of official or kind of official, have the energy of like a high school youth group out of town on a white water rafting trip for the first time. They are an excitable bunch and they, uh, speaking with a inappropriately broad brush, they're an excitable bunch who, um, 
like, I th probably do more to hurt my opinion of JHS as a pedal manufacturer than help, but I don't leave the group because it is kind of entertaining. But it's a little bit like how, like, man, I sure would love Dave Matthews if it wasn't for all those, like, major Dave Matthews fans. That comparison may have worked better if I'd been able to make it in like like 2010. But uh, so the only other JH pedal I have is the um, Colorbox V2 and uh, is real good and doesn't do um, and doesn't do anything else that uh, I've got covered by any other pedal. I do have this zone covered by many other pedals, the zone of like octave and fuzz, but gosh, was that a whole lot of fun to play and I'm excited to keep playing it. And also, gosh, do I love how real they kept it by being inconvenient and noisy. I love that there's not a nine volt connector on the back. I love that there's not an indicator light on it. Um, that's uh, that, that fucking rips. Those two moves alone are like, uh, Credit where credit is due. And, um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed hearing it because I enjoyed playing it. And goodbye.